in the name of allah the most gracious the most merciful okay we had created a new uh, next.js project uh, in the in our previous video now we will look into some of the important uh, tools configured into it uh, because next next.js makes our life easy to get started and it comes uh, typescript and eslint already configured with it so the important file is packet.json it basically lists down all the dependencies right which are required by this project and which when installed go into the node modules so here we can see that typescript is already specified and uh, uh, we have a typescript configuration file tsconfig they are also already in place you can check each of them uh, uh, by uh, Google right doing R&D and you may check that uh, what that means the important part is this one paths it is telling uh, to TypeScript that whenever you see this symbol in the import section you have to refer to the source folder uh, this one is the important thing and you have to include all these TS files TSX files uh, you have to run on the, on all of these files okay so the command to run uh, TypeScript is uh, yarn tsc. Okay, the uh, one thing I forgot in the prerequisites is that uh, it is better if you install the yarn. So we will run all commands through yarn instead of npm uh, because yarn is much better in managing dependencies, node dependencies, and uh, resolving the conflicts among dependencies okay and you can install yarn uh, by simply this command uh, npm install dash dash global yarn okay so we have uh, reviewed that just typescript configuration uh, the next thing is eslint uh, basically uh, we, we are going to discuss uh, much details about uh, typescript in coming videos it is just a superset of javascript uh, because javascript is dynamically typed language uh, so there are chances of errors uh, uh, that's why TypeScript comes into play and uh, basically it improves readability of JavaScript as well and the code becomes maintainable. Okay, the next thing is ESLint. So basically what ESLint does is that uh, it is already also in the dependencies. Uh, we can check, uh, yes. And uh, we have script uh, to run it as well uh, by next lint. Uh, we can just run the yarn lint and it will run the lint L what lint does is that it basically analyzes our code uh, like uh, static code right and uh, at the compile time or when uh, we are coding it tells us about the uh, issues or the errors uh, that we might have done during the coding and we can fix them right before they go into the production so es lint also has a uh, some uh, a file configuration file here we can specify uh, some custom rules if we wish uh, but for now we will keep it as it is and uh, if we run the script yarn lint uh, then it will check uh, all the linting errors no es lint warnings are errors so far okay good the next thing is the third one is uh, the prettier uh, prettier is uh, basically important uh, to maintain the consistency in the formatting of the files right because uh, this will also help in the code reviews usually when you people create PRs pull requests so if we do not have uh, some code formatter then it will be uh, basically difficult mess uh, because there will be lot of differences in the files due to just the formatting so <coughs> installing prettier is a good thing uh, configuring it to configure the prettier we will have to go to go to the extensions and uh, search for the prettier uh, we are going to install uh, this is actually already installed right on my system you may install it on yours as well okay uh, and uh, after installing this extension it actually uh, requires some dependencies as well uh, this is the list of dependencies we already have eslint so we can just execute this uh, prettier related uh, 
uh, run this one Uh, you you may get the list from here and just simply run this uh, to install the dependencies related with the Puritia. This is for the TypeScript projects. Okay, then we have to go. Uh, let it install then we have to go actually into the settings uh, here if we go into the code settings settings into the workspace and if we search for prettier then uh, we have what we have to do is that uh, that it runs on the on uh, automatically it basically runs on save there should be auto save options let me check format on save format on save this should be checked down so that as soon as we save the file uh, formatting does happen dependencies are still being installed and after that uh, what we have to do is that we have to define uh, some scripts uh, into the package.json file Okay, dependencies are still being installed. Okay, install these dependencies, right? Uh, then and uh, we are going to run these uh, uh, basically scripts uh, and test them uh, in the next video and will proceed with the husky i will tell you what the husky is thank you